Hi everyone, today we'll be making my favorite drink into a cake. This is a matcha latte with brown sugar boba. So it's gonna be a matcha vanilla cake. We're gonna make it in this super cute size. A lot of y'all have been asking for it as well. So this flavor will be in my cake recipe app and you can do it in any size. But we are gonna make it into a tiny little tray cake today and then add some freshly whipped cream and some fresh strawberries on for some brightness. Okay, let's talk pans first. We're going to use this 1 8 pan because it is indeed 1 8 of a full sheet pan, which are typically used in commercial bakeries. I have a quarter sheet pan here and you can see that two of these eighths will fit into the quarter. Likewise, I also have a half sheet pan and two of the quarters will fit into the half sheet pan. So you see how cute this size is. At about six by nine inches, it makes a cake that's great for small celebrations or gifts. Now let's prep this 1 8 pan. I'm gonna be pulling the cake out and placing it into a box. So I'm going to line my pan with parchment paper, though you could very well just oil this pan and serve it right in here. I've done that with success as well. So spray some cooking spray inside the pan and spread some of the parchment down. And the oil is to help the paper stick. You want to shape it to the pan as best as you can. And I love these pans so much and they're so inexpensive that I've bought a few of them, in which case I would just take an extra pan and put it on top so that the parchment paper is the shape of the pan. Now let's make the matcha cake batter. So first up is to prepare the wedding ingredients. To a small bowl, add your egg whites, milk, and vanilla, and whisk until mostly combined. You'll notice in this recipe there's two places we add milk, but I've written them explicitly in the recipe what amount goes where. Okay, go ahead and set that aside, and to a large mixing bowl we're going to mix our dry ingredients. So first add your cake, flour, and brown sugar. I really adore the molasses -y flavor of brown sugar with matcha, but if you want a clean matcha flavor, you can definitely sub out for just white sugar. If you do that, it'll also produce a limeier colored cake in the end instead of one that's kind of golden. Then add your baking powder and then your matcha powder. If you've never baked with matcha before, matcha powder is a finely ground green tea leaf. It has a wonderful earthy scent and flavor and the most beautiful green color. And the last dry ingredient is salt so go ahead and add that in and then mix that on low speed until it's one color so it should be a light green color. Now we are going to add our fats so add your butter and oil and mix until everything looks like this. What's happening is that we're coating all of the flour with fat which protects it from developing gluten and that occurs in the presence of water-based liquid Liquid, such as egg and milk and things like that. So if we coat it in fat first, we kind of prevent that from happening. After your dry ingredients and fat looks like this, go ahead and add in your second amount of milk and mix this for one minute on medium low speed. Now grab your egg white bowl and we're going to add this in three additions, mixing for 20 seconds after each addition, and then scraping the bottom of the bowl. The eggs is what's going to give our cakes structure so they don't collapse. After mixing in all of that egg milk mix your batter is going to be this awesome green color. Now grab your prepared pan and dump all of that batter in, smoothing out the surface. This goes in the middle of an oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. I checked my cake at 20 minutes and when I pressed the cake surface, it left indentations. I'm sorry I couldn't get a better angle for you, but since I wanted to cook this for longer, I wanted to minimize the amount of time that the oven door was open, so I immediately shut it. But when you put a skewer into the cake and it's under bake like this, you can kind of see streaks of batter and then you'll know that it needs a little more time in the oven. After another five minutes, after I touched the cake, it sprung back lightly when pressed and the skewer came out clean, which meant that it was done. Let this rest completely in the pan before removing. And as I said earlier, if you wanted a purely green matcha cake, definitely sub out the brown sugar for white sugar, but it doesn't really matter to me because I'm gonna be frosting the top of my cake, so I don't mind this golden brown surface. While that cools, let's prep our fruit. And I'm gonna do strawberries today. A quick Google search indicates that citrus goes really well with the earthy tones of matcha. So hopefully Hopefully the acidity of these strawberries will pair nicely. I'm going to leave some green tops for color, but otherwise cut my strawberries lengthwise. I also have some flowers from my garden and these are specifically called sweet alyssum. It's an edible flower that's great for attracting bees to your garden. Once the cake is cooled, I went ahead and prepared the whipped cream. The bowl was in the freezer for about 10 minutes and what this does is help maintain the solid structure of the fat within the cream when we whip it. When the fat melts in heavy cream or it's not solid, it can't hold on to the air bubbles as readily. 
so cold bowl and whisk help us maintain a smooth and dense foam for our whipped cream. And try to find heavy whipping cream for cakes. American heavy creams can be as little as 30% fat, but if you can find one that has upwards of 40% fat, that's best. So add your heavy whipping cream to your cold bowl and whip it on medium speed and until it forms soft peaks like this. It took me about a minute. After this, it's time to add our sweetener. So you can add granulated sugar, powdered sugar, or my new favorite, which is condensed milk. Be sure if you do add condensed milk that it's been chilled in the fridge. You do want everything to be cold when adding it to whipped cream so it doesn't deflate the bubbles. And then once it's nice and smooth, it's ready to use. Okay, there are these boxes that fit these cakes perfectly and I really wanna show you how cute this can be. The link for this will be down below the video if you wanna try this as well. So I went ahead and assembled my box and lined it with a fresh sheet of parchment to make it look tidy. And on the cake itself, I pulled the old one off as it can soak up the oils while it's cooking, which is kind of unsightly. I just did this with my hands and held it and peeled it off since this cake was cool. It's pretty easy to do. It's also way easier to decorate cakes of this size when they're already in their containers. So I went ahead and placed it into the box before I decorated it. And to decorate it, I just spread some freshly whipped cream all over the top and piled on the strawberries. You could really do so many things with these little cakes, like arrange the fruit in a certain way or pattern, but I tend to like the fruit when it's kind of just dumped all over the place. And then I took some of those fresh flowers from my garden and placed them in the gaps between the strawberries. Okay, let's taste the, the matcha cake. I feel like I've been eating a lot of matcha today with the boba and then this, but it's good. I like matcha. This, this, <laughs> my little one is moving the camera stand. Uh, let me get a piece so I can show you a bite. There we go. Very fluffy. Mm -hmm. It's fluffy. It's not too dense. It's kind of like in between an American butter cake and like an Asian chiffon cake. Kind of like me, like in between. Um, it's got that sweet flavor from the brown sugar, which I absolutely adore. Mommy. Here, you can have strawberry. Strawberry with cream. Mmm. And the matcha flavor is kind of like, it's, it's definitely in between. Um, it's not too light and it's not too strong. If you want it a little bit stronger, you can definitely add a little bit more matcha powder um, during that dry ingredient step and that'll like intensify this a little bit. But I think it's just right as it is just for my palate. Yummy, yummy. I hope you guys like this cake, it's so good.